Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this rational equation as you can see over here. 1 divided by x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z equal to 15 divided by 52. And now we are going to find the value of x plus y plus z. And moreover, keep in your mind that our x, y, z are going to be natural numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this equation on the right hand side, this fraction 15 divided by 52. So we can write this fraction by using this fact. This could be written as 1 divided by 52 divided by 15. And the left hand side is going to be same. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these denominators. This part, I'm going to put it in this bracket. And likewise, I'm going to put this denominator in the bracket as well. And now we are going to use this basic fact, these denominators. I can equate this denominator as this one. I can put them equal since in the numerator we got one on both sides. And here I have equated these denominators. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one. And in the next step, now we are going to manipulate this equation one to get the values of x plus y plus z, this part. So therefore, we have to be creative and we're going to think outside the box. Now let's talk about the long division or sometimes we call it division algorithm. So let me give you this example pretty quick. 19 divided by 5. And this could be also written as in terms of a long division algorithm. As you can see, in our case, this 19 is called a dividend. This 5 is called divisor and then we are going to get 3 as a quotient and 4 is going to be our remainder. So this is the concept that we will be using in solving our this given problem. And now in next step we are going to write this 52 divided by 15 in terms of this long division algorithm. And here I have copied it down where 15 is our divisor and 52 is our dividend. So let's go ahead and perform this long division. So 15 times 3 is 45. Let's subtract this thing and our remainder is going to be 7. So therefore we can see that our this quotient 3 is going to be our x value and 7 is going to be our remainder. So therefore our x value turns out to be simply 3. Now let's go ahead and perform this long division once again. This remainder is going to come outside and becomes a, a divisor. And this divisor is going to become over here as a dividend. So let's perform this long division. 2 times 7 is 14. We are going to subtract and our remainder turns out to be 1. And now we can see that this our quotient 2 is going to be our y value and the remainder is 1. So therefore our y value turns out to be 2. And now we are going to perform this long division once again. This uh, divisor is going to become dividend and this remainder is going to become our divisor. So this is going to become once we perform this uh, long division so 1 times 7 is 7, we are going to subtract 7 and 0 is going to be our remainder. And now we can see that our this quotient is 7 and that's going to be our z value and our remainder turns out to be 0. Once our remainder turns out to be 0, then we are going to stop at that point. So therefore our z value turns out to be 7. So thus our x value turns out to be 3, y value is 2, and z value is 7. And now we are going to see whether these are our valid values. So therefore we are going to check our these values by just plugging in x for 
थ्री वाई फॉर टू एंड जी फॉर सेवन एंड वे वी कैन सी वे द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इन डीड इक्वल टू द राइट हैंड साइड सो लेट्स को हैड एंड फिल इन द ब्लैंक सो फॉर एक्स एम गो रिप्लेस इट बाई थ्री प्लस वन डिवाइड बाई टू प्लस वन ओवर सेवन एंड नाउ द क्वेश्चन मार्क इज whether this left hand side is equal to the right hand side is 52 divided by 15 and now let's focus on this uh, fraction on the bottom over here and here i have copied it down and as you can see 2 is a whole number and 1 over 7 is our fraction and whenever we add uh, this whole number plus fraction we can merge them 2 and 1 7 so this is going to become uh, our mixed number so 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15 divided by 7 so therefore this part is going to be replaced by this simplified one so we can write this one 3 plus 1 divided by 15 divided by 7 and the right hand side question mark 52 divided by 15 and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 3 plus 1 this one could be simplified by using this rule so this is same as writing 7 divided by 15 and equals to question mark this right hand side and now let's focus on this left hand side i have just copied it down once again we got one whole number the other one is a fraction and now we can merge them as a mixed number so this could be simplified as 52 divided by 15 so this uh, left hand side is going to be 52 divided by 15 and now the question mark is is it indeed equal to the right hand side which is 52 divided by 15 as a well and we can see that this is a true statement so therefore we conclude that our a this x value rather is 3 y value is 2 and z value is 7 and those are our valid values and here's our final step let's go ahead and find x plus y plus z value our x value is 3 y value is 2 and z value is 7 let's go ahead and add the map and so our simplified answer turns out to be 12 so thus our final answer turns out to be 12 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye